This episode's FDR shoutout goes to RP101 Aquatics. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's up guys, it's time for another fish tank review. I'm joined today by none other than Rapashi over here. If you haven't noticed yet, there's a crested gecko on my shoulder, whoa. She always likes to hang out here and try to jump towards that tank there, which I haven't revealed yet, but it's coming very soon. Thank you guys for being so supportive on the name. Well, most of you on the name, but all of you really liked my decision on getting Rapashi. All of you do seem to like that I got a Crested Gecko. Anyways, before we get into it, we're going for the contest uh, that whoever guessed right gets a shout out on what I had in this enclosure. A lot of great guesses. Some of you thought because there's no light, it must be some amphibian like a frog. So yeah, it was kind of a tricky thing. So we have Eli Crockett who said Crested Gecko, yep, you got it. Ethan's Exotics asks a Crested Gecko, yep, you are right. And awesome name, Ethan's Exotics. Layla Mori also guessed it, Crested Gecko is in the tank, yep, very matter of fact, you know it. Robe player coming in clutch, Vertigo Tank is a Gecko. Didn't guess Crested Gecko, but he was so fast and on the mark. And last but not least, not everyone is a spelling master, okay? And I gotta give it to this guy, uh, Wild Will. In the Vertigo tank is a Crusted Gecko. I hope my Gecko never becomes crusted. Uh, it's a Crested Gecko, but I totally know what you meant. And I probably will make the same type of mistake in the future. Very good job, guys. And again, awesome guesses. I wish I had all of those reptiles and amphibians, like the white tree frog or the... A chameleon. I really wish I had those. Saw this while scrolling through images. Oof. Yeah, big oof. Um, I saw this while I was scrolling images too, so it's like scrolling inception. Fishbowls are notorious to be goldfish killers, you know? You put your Ryukin in there and it's gonna die in like two weeks when it can live for many, many years. But like, what is this, a damselfish? I haven't caught up on my saltwater at all, but I just feel like this is another level because saltwater fish all require so many pieces of equipment, like the, I don't know, sump and the protein skimmer, really good filters. Pretty sure even the lights are important. And this guy's just like, F all that. I want saltwater and I just want to put it in a bowl. I don't even know if that water is saltwater. Also, I don't know if the person knows this is a saltwater fish. Maybe they just thought it's a goldfish. It's kind of yellow, so kind of gold. And it's a fish, so to the inexperienced person, goldfish. I really hope this isn't the case. And whoever sold this person the fish, they gotta double check, man. Not only is it in a bowl, it's hitting all the worst like parts of the hobby. You got the plastic plants, and you just got the gravel from hell. Like, what is that color scheme even? The only thing we can bank on is that this thing is just for like Instagram, and the fish is going right back to its like 125 gallon. Or maybe it's Photoshop. A shout out to my patrons who are supporting and believing in this channel and making all of this possible. Corvus Austin, Daniel Thomas, Cranium Rex, Spoil Splendid, K, Ferraris Aquatics and Exotics, Clara, Hydrogen Dragon, Chad Krotz, and Savannah G. Make sure to follow up on my Instagram at the Plenty Lens to see viewer submitted tanks by you guys and also just to follow up on my life. Thanks again to everyone watching and I hope you do enjoy this video. So excited to see this posted at my local Walmart. Attention Walmart customers. The text is pretty small to read but I saw the captions or I saw the comments and it's basically saying the fish department is going to be closed down for good at Walmart. A lot of you did already say this in the other FTR and awesome this thing is happening. Wait but then also I see this comment, wait a minute my local Walmart said they were upscaling their fish department like they said they were making it bigger, what the F? That's where all the fish went from this picture, no, please no. Okay this third comment clarifies it, so it's no 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 it's supposed to be taken out not being expanded, election of pet merchandise coming soon. So this is Probably a misunderstanding. Pet merchandise probably does not mean live pets, which means no more live fish. This is not going to be a expansion of the live fish department. Instead, they're going to replace it with pet merchandise, like maybe things for fish, like fish tanks, other products like food, fluval. So okay, I think I think we're probably all good. It's all just misunderstanding. Fish department, live fish department, no more. Congratulations, humanity! One more step to being better. Big man, little box. <laughs> what? You got a giant Oscar, full grown almost, I think. And then you got like 
six little goldfish that is too big for the Oscar to eat, but probably not too big to maim. And they're all just begging for their lives. Like they actually know that this Oscar is going to destroy them. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Let us, let us out. Come on, let us out. Gulp, gulp. I don't know what fish say. Just gulp. <laughs> Pretty horrible. Yes, those are actual bettas at a pet store. I know it's temporary, but it's still sad. Sad indeed. Hey there, happy 4th of July. Wanna kill some fish? I don't know. Is my southern accent improving? Probably not southern USA. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. Like, a lot of other places would probably do this as well. But yeah, happy 4th of July. Hopefully you didn't buy one of those. Pretty sure that Pleco doesn't belong in a 3.5 gallon tank. Saw a comment on the bottom and it said they had a Pleco that had the fish the same size of this tank. I don't know how feasible that was, but I like the hyperbole, you know? It creates an effect like, this tank is way too small. I like how there's the review for this product from the guy who got it. This is just a picture. I'm very pleased so far. I just received it and set it up. It worked beautifully so far. I really want to read the whole thing, but I'm too lazy to go find the whole thing, so this will have to do. This person is very pleased that it can fit their uh, juvenile little pleco for the time being. I just received it and set it up, so probably didn't cycle the tank. Anyway, why were we even talking about cycling the tank? This, this is not gonna work. If you like a pleco enough to make it your only fish in this tank that you brought and set up, why wouldn't you just search on Google Pleco Care? You can find everything in two seconds. It tells you everything. Like that's not even a bristle nose, okay? That's, I don't even think that's a dwarf Pleco. It could be a sailfin, but it might be a common. Huh? Are these like inmates? Inmate fish? These are not convicts. We have convict cichlids for that. We all know that paracichlids love getting tattooed. I actually didn't know. I scrolled down to the comments and one of them said, don't search up or don't confirm this on Google because I'm guessing the links on Google will take you to links that actually show them getting tattooed. I didn't do it. Um, I'll take your word for it, but go poor fish. If that's actually some sort of like tattoo process, uh, I don't know. Remember the whole Walmart, no more fish, um, one up for humanity. This is like, like two down. Like, we, we went up once, and now we're, we just go down twice. So we, we actually went down once, because 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And that's the rating for this picture. It's a negative 1 out of 1 billion. Count them up. Sad aquarium photo. I used to care for the aquarium at my former workplace, but had to hand over the reins when I left. Someone recently posted a photo with a tank in the background. October 2017, it looked pretty good, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have all life plants, but at least it looked like something. And you got like a, it's probably like Halloween, oh yeah, October, duh. It's got a freaking pumpkin in there. And then April 2019, what the hell happened? Two years isn't that big of a time skip for fish tanks, especially if you don't have live plants. Fake plants and decor don't decay in two years. The only thing that survived was that Asian looking temple and a few rocks, I'm guessing. Like, why did you feel the need to take away the plastic plants that aren't gonna die? Also, the the substrate changed. Like, how did you even take out half of, like the other half of the substrate? How's that possible? You scooped it out? Oh man, what even happened? And then to top it all off, I don't know what that is, but oh, oh, I think that's one of those glass cleaners. <laughs> At least someone's still cleaning the glass, I guess. Why is this like most relationships? Like, it starts off so well and then two years down the road and you're all comfortable and farting in front of each other. Not from personal experience. I still don't fart in front of my girlfriend and she does, she, she's never gonna fart in front of me. Let's just say that. She's very shy. Would you like a cup of tea? I think I'm making a lot of people's ears bleed. First is my southern accent, that's horrible I think. And now I think my British accent is even worse. Stunning terrarium idea from Pinterest. I feel like Pinterest is just like completely and eternally confused now. All of their targeted ads are targeted like pictures from the things you search. It's just awfully confused. That's neither stunning nor is it anything to do with terrarium. Why is it terrarium? It's goldfish tea. Someone educate me. I keep needing people to explain these pictures to me. 
I don't get it. What, what does this one mean? Last time there was like a confusing caption. Some people were like, that's the wrong caption. But other people were like actually deciphering it and it, it sounded pretty legit. I think this one takes the cake. Cake by the ocean, ah, uh, get it? Inappropriate. Is this, does this even look good to people who don't keep fish? I don't know because I'm biased. I, uh, why is it so noisy today? Oh yeah, because I'm filming during rush hour and I live pretty close to traffic. I imagine that most people do have common sense, right? Okay, I can't say that. But like, wouldn't you just see that and be like, wow, that's really small for a fish. Well, I wonder what's happening here. Uh, no, no, just just people with common sense. Okay. Like if you saw that just randomly on a Instagram when you're just scrolling down, would you stop and like that photo? Let me know. Because this will be like minus one again for humanity. We're going to like minus two. I don't want to go to minus two. Bad things happen when we go to minus two. Literally the saddest thing I've seen on Pinterest. I can only imagine them trying to shove that poor thing in that little hole. Actually, what? how did you get a plant in there? I guess maybe it's one of those softer plants. It looked like a Nubius at first, but I doubt it is. You can't shove a hard piece of Anubias in there like that. And the tank itself is just representative of what's coming for this beta. The sad part is I know even in this situation, the beta will try its hardest to live. And by chance, it'll probably even like live for a while. Enough so that the owners don't second guess their care level. Because bettas are so committed to holding on to life. Trust me, I know. I mean like, I've, I've never been a beta before. I've kept beta, that's why I know. Don't think I had to explain that one. All right, first, oh gosh. We got endlers in the house, oh no. First tank we got, it's in, okay. I'm too excited right now. I see endlers. Our first fish tank is sent in by Darkshadow22 from Yorkshire, England. What's up? How's the weather over there? Probably not that different from Vancouver. <laughs> Anyways, beautiful tank. Nice use of the Kabamba, making everything lush. Nice use of the uh, Rotala roundifolia, I think. And we got some carpeting plants. Uh, is that hair grass? I think it's dwarf hair grass. I should really know this. Really simple and effective scape. You got the leading lines from the uh, hardscape, which is the wood over here. And guess what? This guy's got male endlers in there and ram's horns. Endlers and ram's horns. Oh, what a masterpiece. All you need to do to be like the Leonardo da Vinci of the fish tank world to me is <laughs> endlers and <laughs> red ram's horns. No, I can't give this one five out of five, dude. Dark Shadow, I can't do it, man. You know how it is. I, we shouldn't be biased, okay? And like, I'm I'm in science, so like, I know that bias is the worst. 4.5 out of five, you, you're doing a great job using simple plants and using a nice piece of wood to aquascape your tank and the carpet is very enjoyable as well. Next, next. This tank is sent in by Dimitris Asiat. Oh gosh. Dim Dimitris Siatskas. I think that's also some kind of fancy endler morph. Now there's some artificial stuff in here, but for some reason this little tank um, really stands out to me. Um, although the aquascaping is a little scattered, it kind of works because um, I'm not sure if this is by accident or not, but the scatter looks very natural in a way. The plants are scattered, there's some floating ones, there's some like debris, right? The artificial stuff acts like debris. Now you've got two gourami in there and some guppies. I'm hoping that the gouramis are okay with each other and with the guppies and they're not very nippy, but hopefully everyone is, uh, yeah, acting friendly in this very small tank. You're getting a 3.9 from me. I really like the plants. It's very enjoyable to look at actually. So lots of room to grow, keep it up. Next up, we have Eric Osler. Ooh, I really like the hardscape. There's actually some, a little bit of a, a step laddering effect going on. It's really nice. I'm enjoying more and more of the one-sided um, aquascaping. I don't know if you can tell, um, from the ratings I've been giving those, but this is another one-sided like corner aquascape. I find them to be, um, for the most part, pretty clever. Those plants are going to carpet well on the nutritious substrate, and then I like the substrate color change divided by the rocks. Really, really clever design. Would like to see some more lushness in the plants. Um, I think they will start to, you know, fill up a little bit. I like how this whole tank is like just for this one short finned beta and an assassin snail or two. 4.2 out of 5, great job. Up next we have Matthew Skinner's tank. Very green, great texture, and just an open, no-nonsense fish tank. You got all sorts of fish in here. Um, he's featured a few of them, including the neons and a pleco, but what's really interesting is this twig catfish that he has named Woody. Now the plants are inevitably going to fill out this tank more and more with time. 
just a little thing of caution. Um, your Anubias and your Java Fern, hopefully you're not burying the rhizomes and only the roots. Um, Java Fern especially, you really want to just let them do its thing or else they're going to rot down and start dying because if their roots are planted, it's going to be trouble. 4.2 out of 5, great job and keep it up. Next tank we have sent in by Redza Ahmad. Nice little cozy tank for your beta. I really like the perspective of this tank. It's really focused on the wood piece, which isn't a bad thing. And it basically fills out the background, even though it's not placed right at the very back of the tank, I imagine. And there's some plants like scattered and rooted in the wood itself in very aesthetically pleasing places. I like the bigger rocks contrasting with your substrate, very fine substrate. Your beta is also really healthy and looks great. The colors are very amazing. I like that you utilized this small space and made it what it is. 4.5 out of 5, great job. Next we have Reed Griffin. Look at that Cory gang, healthy gang of albino Corys. Yeah, don't mess boy. I think those are glow lights schooling around. Wisteria as your main plant. I think the only plant in here, which still works, you know. Wisteria is great. Just grow them out and let them go wild. The only thing is it's getting a little bit uh, of an algae problem sort of thing. I'm not sure how to deal with that because I'm really not sure about your specs on this tank, but definitely control the light hours. Now for the time being, I'm giving you a 3.8 out of 5, but hopefully when you clean it up, it'll look much better and the wisteria will have grown more into the tank. This tank is sent in by Robert Miller and it's a stunner. I love those lines coming out of the wood piece. I love the choices of your plants. They are contrasting with each other. I, I do suggest doing some vac cleaning on the sand. Um, just, you know, ruffle up the sand and exchange that brown surface with some sand from the bottom. One, it snuffs out algae and two, you know, it, it looks better. Um, keeps the sand looking white. If you keep having this problem, I think decreasing photo hours will be a thing. 4.3 out of 5, great job. And next we have a tank sent in by Peter Van Ruin. It's feeding time for this tank. Now Peter is 13 years old and you're doing a really good job on your aquascape. Just one little advice right off the bat is I see that your gravel is very, very coarse, which means it's um, a bigger size and that's a little bit hard to plant certain plants, right? And also it's not going to retain too much nutrients. It's definitely not a nutrient rich substrate. So plants will struggle in those kind of conditions. Now you might have some root taps because I see these plants do have some growth, I think. I don't think it's a completely new tank, so they are surviving, but they will be flourishing much better if you have a nutritious substrate or some sort of food for your plants roots. Anyways, I'll shut up now and enjoy the tank. So there's a little pleco over here, very, very cute. There's a rainbow shark over there getting really big, looking very healthy. There's some Serpe Tetras and a true Siamese algae eater, very good choice, keeping your tank clean. And a side view of the neon Tetras and the whole tank. 4.35 out of 5, great job. Hey, thanks you, thanks you. Hey, thank you all for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Look out for more videos. There's gonna be a whole bunch of videos to come. So yeah, if you're subscribed, what the heck? Thank you so much. Please leave a like if you like this video. If you're not subscribed, what the heck? Subscribe, man. There's nothing to lose. I'm free every... That, that sounds... Watching my channel is free, so why don't you subscribe? And give this video a like as well if you like the content. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day, and there'll be more videos to come. Don't forget to get your hands wet.